Good morning, good morning, good morning, Keto Rebooters. I hope everybody is as excited as I am to not eat. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of crazy, um, but this is a journey that I started years and years ago. And uh, guys, I got to tell you, um, there's a reason why I continue to keep doing it every single month, why I continue to keep sharing and talking about it and inviting people to join me on this journey for a lot of different reasons. But I have to say, I want to know where you are watching from. Uh, I want you to comment in the comment section. Just give us a quick shout out of where you're just taking this journey with us. Uh, we have people from all over the world uh, joining us on this journey today for the next 60 hours, right? We started last night at 9 p.m. And we are on the journey to good. So if you're familiar with kind of how we have started the Keto Reboot community, um, we've given people different levels of how to find success. And we're going after good today. And then we go after better. And then we go after best. And the reason why we want people to really kind of look at those different levels to achieve is because there's success in every single one of them. And the really cool part about our community here uh, is that there's encouragement all the way through. There's never failure. So you can never fail at this. I just want people to realize uh, there's never a failing point um, because just from starting last night, right? Just from starting last night at 9 p.m. to just this morning at 9 a.m., you're already 12 hours in and you literally just slept. You just slept 12 hours of your keto reboot uh, so again comment where you are watching from we would love to know just where this community how broad this community is because we know it's massive right there's 106,000 people uh, within this community uh, we're all here to support encourage motivate inspire uh, get through our hang-ups our frustrations our nail-biting moments um, so I just want to say Hello to Jen Stuber. Uh, let's see, we got Jennifer Garcias. Uh, we got Kim John Jones. Uh, let's see here. We got a couple people on here. I want to give a couple shout outs to. Great to see everybody joining us this morning. Kels, uh, Kelsey Long, uh, Regan Poulin. Good to see you guys on. Luann Bradley. Love it. Uh, let's see, Jamie Messina, there we go, Lori Matthews, Coach Rob, there he is. Guys, if y'all didn't get a chance to watch Coach Rob's um, video last night starting, uh, it was a great start. It's a great start to our community every single time. So much information, um, so love it, keep it coming in. Again, we want to know where you are watching from all over the world, seriously, all over the world. Uh, because that's what this is about. Um, but again, this is always going to be, this is always here in the community. Uh, so tag people that you know that are doing this with you. That's the great thing about these videos is that you can tag people and they can come back and watch it later. Um, so that's really cool. That's really, I would call very helpful information, but I'm the first of four different coaches today. So if you're not really using the community there's so much information because we have so many different people talking and sharing and giving information and coaching and just giving you guys inspiration but really some key tips of how to stay in this moment of really keto rebooting is is what it's come down to uh, it's really putting your body back in balance it's really understanding how to get your body back into compliance um, there's so many different things that come from this experience and that's truly what it is. And it's, it's an experience that you have to really just kind of say, okay, what is my experience? We can't go by everybody else. We got to go by what my experience is. And, and that's what we want you to embrace. The first thing, you know, that I would say is a no, no, don't compare, don't compare your journey, your experience to somebody else's uh, because everybody is unique. Everybody is different. Everybody has their own, issues as they go through this because you're going to really unveil a kind of uh, what I would say are some really pretty big issues. Um, the first one being for me. So I'll just share with you guys real quick. The first one being for me, when I first started um, 
shall we say, intermittent fasting, right? I was a guy that was, I'm in the fitness industry. I've been in the fitness industry for 22, 23 years. Um, I love it. it it's, it's my passion. I, I absolutely love helping people, love just living a healthy lifestyle. I have four, let me say it again, four teenagers. I've got a 19, a 16, a 15, and a 14-year-old. I have three girls and one boy. Um, so to say my life is a little bit busy is an understatement, especially with teenagers. Uh, but I'm a dad, and I'm also a full-time dad that is always in the mix of running a business and taking care of kids. So for those of you that have kids and you're trying to figure out how to do the hustle and the bustle of life, um, this is doable and it's actually even, I would say easier, um, because it really puts into play the opportunity of distraction. <laughs> That's just being honest. Uh, life with kids is a great distraction, uh, from eating. And, and it comes down to the fact that you also have to realize, um, that a lot of people say, well, what happens when, you know, I have to make lunch or I have to make dinner. So today is president's day. And a lot of you guys are not working today. I'm, 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 I'm guessing that a lot of you are sitting at home. It's a holiday and you're not working. And so you either have kids at home because they're out of school or you're at home and you're, you're just, you're not working today. You don't have any kids. So you're just kind of getting stuff done today. So there's two different ways to kind of look at today. One is you can be really, really busy or two, you can be really kind of chilled, laid back, kind of enjoy the day. I will tell you that our theme for today is going after good. We're trying to get you to three o'clock, okay? That's a great start. If you can hit good, right, our first goal, that'd be third, that'd be a, what are we going on? 19, 19, 20 hours. If you can get to three o'clock, then we'll, you know, say you hit good, but that's our first introduction into intermittent fasting, okay? So many benefits, so much science, so much research around why we, we see the power of intermittent fasting, but it's also about going after glycogen today. And if you're not familiar with what that means or how that looks or what it's about, your body requires energy to, to work all day long. So what we're trying to go for is the stored carbohydrates and sugars in your body. That's IE called glycogen slash glucose. So your body has to burn through all the sugars is the way to put it. When you're burning through the sugars, then you're getting quicker into what we want to get you to in 60 hours is called ketogenesis, and that's called fat burning. We're trying to get you to become a fat burner. If you are looking at this from a weight loss standpoint, if you are looking at this from a healthy lifestyle standpoint, if you are looking at this just in general, just trying to have an experience, I don't do this per se for weight loss. This isn't a weight loss thing for me. So I think that's a big thing for people to realize. This isn't weight loss for me. It's more about a healthy lifestyle. It keeps me in balance. It keeps me in check. It keeps me, what? Keeping a healthy relationship with food. And, I, and this has been kind of one of my big terminologies as I help coach people and I give them ideas and I help them understand why we do intermittent fasting or why we do a keto reboot is because I want you guys to understand where food is just fuel. And so many of us use food as an emotional crutch. So think about it. Why are you eating? Why do you drink? Why do you do certain things throughout the day? Is it because your body says you need fuel or is it because you're emotionally attached to it? It's because it's a habit, right? We are creatures of habit. And I'm going to use a quick analogy of when you walk into a gym, for those of you that walk into a gym, how many of you go to the five or six machines that you know, and there's a 50 other machines out there, but you go to five or six machines, okay, because you're a creature of habit, because it's easy, because it's comfortable, because you know where to go, because you know what to do, because you're just familiar with it, right? See, change and experience has two different really kind of analogies. I'm always of the analogy that I want to challenge my body and I want to stimulate my body. So to do something different, to do something that the body is not used to is called a good thing. That's why the keto reboot, we say drink ketones daily, reboot monthly, is so important because a keto reboot throws you into a system of oh, change. 
oh, there's something different. Oh, I'm not a creature of habit now all of a sudden. So what does the body have to do? It has to adapt. It has to shift. It has to do something different than what it's used to doing. So I think the whole idea behind this for different people is you got to figure out what's your vice is, right? You may not think you have a vice around food. You may not think you have a vice around drinking. And I don't mean alcoholic drinking. I'm just talking about drinking things that probably are not the best for you. I don't know how many people are drinking sodas. And, and I hear so many people, well, it's a diet, right? It's a diet soda. It's a low calorie soda. It's a something, right? I'm not a soda guy, never been a soda guy. I drink water all day long. Water, 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 water. And there's huge research and benefits that if you can drink, right? If you can drink 100 or more ounces of water, 100 or more ounces of water, then you can get into really helping your body get into becoming a fat burner faster because it's flushing out the system, which is what the Keto Reboot's all about. So going after glycogen today, we're asking you to just try to get up and get moving. We need the body to really start expending some extra energy. That would kind of help this process. You don't have to. It's something that I encourage. A lot of people have asked, can I have black coffee? Well, we recommend don't having black coffee. We recommend just drinking water and following the keto reboot system. That's what we really recommend, okay? We also recommend that you get up and you move. Now, does that mean you need to go lift weights? Does that mean you need to go do sprints? Does that mean you need to go to go like a 10 mile run? No, it just means you need to get up and move. That's really what this is about. So I wanna encourage each of you to take your dog for a walk. Get outside and just get moving if you can. Uh, if you're in Texas like me, I'm in Dallas, Texas. It is going to be 75, almost 80 degrees a day. I will be outside moving. In fact, I absolutely love working out on my keto reboot days. And here's a couple things to think about. One, my body doesn't have a lot of food to digest, obviously. I didn't eat that big last night. I'm always kind of a, a I don't look at it as my, I don't know how many people went into last night going, looking at this as your last supper. <laughs> and so you kind of overindulge, right? Uh, that's not me. Uh, because I know the experience of what that can cause and what it creates, and it's not a good experience. So I eat very little. Um, last night, even before we started the Kiba Reboot, I had a very light day. Um, the whole purpose of what we're looking at when I say I'm trying to really enjoy the experience of, of working out on a Kiba Reboot day is because I have more blood available to go to my muscle tissue. And if you're a workout person and that makes sense, what is carried in the blood? It's called oxygen. What do your muscles need for recovery when you're doing cardio or when you're lifting weights? It needs oxygen, right? So there's a huge benefit, a huge benefit to working out on a keto reboot day. Now, you, everybody's different. I have to say, you just have to take it for what it is. Know your body, know the experience, let your body really talk to you. But some of my strongest days, some of my best days in the gym are on a keto reboot day. The reason being is because I have more oxygen available to my muscle tissue. The reason being I have more blood available to my muscle tissue because my stomach isn't full of food and it's not, my body's not trying to spend energy digesting the food from the day before. So I have a full tank of energy ready to be used for my workout. Now that's me personally. I love it. For those of you that are not big workout people, then I would just encourage you just to, hey, chill. I mean, drink your tea. I mean, drink your, uh, your ketones. Uh, use your broth. Uh, guys, you can do it cold or hot. I don't ever want you to do it boiling. Uh, that changes the properties of it. But I, you can then definitely do it warm. Uh, but I think it's also important for people to realize, hey, if you work out, that's just a bonus, okay? That is, that's just a bonus. Your body's burning calories sitting at rest. It's not a way to, I would say, um, discount from the fact of going out and moving because it's just a bonus, but it is a reality that your body is using energy stored until it runs out of glucose and glycogen. Here's the whole, this is what we're going for, right? The whole point is to burn all your glucose, all your glycogen, so that we can get to where your body starts metabolizing fat 
to produce a new energy fuel source called ketones. Your body naturally wants to do it, but because of our habits, because of our glucose, because of the carbs and the sugars that we eat, our body never gets to go and really start utilizing it because we're still filling our body full of sugars, right? So my encouragement to you today is stay committed to what you feel is working for you. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. This journey is strictly just about where you are. Enjoy the journey. This should not be anything that um, you hate. <laughs> it should not be anything that um, you despise. It should really under, like, I look forward to it because I know the internal benefits of it. The internal benefits far outweigh the external benefits. So therein lies where I want to encourage each of you guys today to really just take this journey, make it something fun, make it something, uh, the community all day long. Like for those of you that don't have kids or that you have some spare time, like jump in here, like jump in here, look at the stories, watch the videos, be inspired, get encouraged, stay motivated, hold yourself accountable to the group because this is where we're going. We're going on this for the next, right? 60 hours. We started last night at nine o'clock. We're going to go all the way till nine o'clock on Wednesday morning. Um, the coaches that are kind of coming on here after me throughout the day and tomorrow and then Wednesday morning, you're not going to want to miss it. You're going to hear something different. You're going to hear something new. You're going to hear something encouraging, inspiring, educational. There's so many different things that you take away from this, but find out this. What is your relationship with food? Because you will find out uh, yeah, I have an addiction to running to the, camp, the the pantry or, wow, I am really craving something right now. What is it that I'm craving? Is it because my body is actually hungry or is it because I just, I'm a creature of habit. I'm just used to going and grabbing something, right? So there lies the opportunity for you to break a habit. There lies an opportunity for you to recognize um, a vice, I would say. Uh, because your body has plenty of fuel. You're not going to starve to death and you're not going to burn muscle. So my last point is for those of you that are worried about doing a keto reboot and burning muscle, not going to happen. Doesn't happen. Can't happen because you know why? Ketones are anti-catabolic. When the body has ketones in the blood, the body doesn't burn muscle tissue. I can promise you that. And here's the coolest example. I started sharing this three and a half years ago uh, when I was looking at, you know, how ketones were really working and how, what, what, how did this all make sense? Here's the coolest thing about ketones. And I'm going to use an example from nature. I've always, in, you know, loved this example. But what do bears do in hibernation, right? Bears go into hibernation for three, four, five months. They don't eat but yet they either are having babies and they're feeding those babies and then they come out of hibernation, still alive, they haven't eaten in three to four months, but they survived. What did they survive on? They didn't survive on eating, they survived on what? Stored energy, as what? Fat. What was their fuel source? Ketones. Bears are the perfect example of how we who have body fat have all the fuel we need without ever eating, as long as we have water. So you're gonna be okay. You're not gonna lose your muscle because bears lost weight. They didn't lose muscle. Think about it. They didn't lose muscle, they lost weight because they burned fat to produce ketones to stay alive. I hope this all made sense to you guys. I hope you're encouraged. I hope that um, whoever brought you to this community, if you're a first timer, just put in here your first time. We want to encourage you. Um, this is the really cool part about this community is that we're here to help each and every one of you. Remember, three o'clock today, you're going for good, right? The next one is better. You're trying to get to tomorrow morning to get to better, 36 hours. Best is 60 hours, Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. I love each and every one of you guys. Comment below. We want to hear how you're doing today. We'll see you soon.